you all know that Chioma will always come true for you all. You guys are always in my thoughts. That is why I'm bringing this video because I also went through that process. Let us just laugh over it and maybe you are planning to come to Qatar as a foreigner. Just get your mind prepared to face these things. Today, I'm going to be discussing with you all things you won't understand as a foreigner in Qatar. And if this video sounds interesting to you, can you keep on watching to the end? Do not miss out on any point. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Chioma. If you're just seeing this face for the first time, it is good to have you here. On this channel, I share everything and anything you need to know about Qatar motivation, lifestyle, and general topics, okay? And if that sounds interesting to you, you might want to consider joining the family. Come be part of the family. I remember about five years, going to six years ago, while I came to Qatar, there were some things that it was just like, why is this? Why are they doing this? Why are they doing this? But even now, as I'm talking to you, I am even now the pro in doing some of those things now. And I want to share it with you all because I just thought about this week that, oh, I've not said anything about this before. Why don't I bring it to you all so that we're going to laugh over it and as well learn. The first thing you might not really understand is the English. Have you, if you have experienced their English, tell me in the comment section, how is it? Because I'll call our English here, cut and join. Cut and join English. If you do not put your ear down, <laughs> you will not understand what they are saying. You know, Qatar here is mainly the Asians that are mostly here. I, I know the Asians, they have their own they have their own language okay they are not native english speakers unlike we that we came from africa that we we they, we're being taught with english like example nigeria we are being taught with english but all these asian countries most of them the english is their second language so it's very very hard for them to communicate so if you are communicating with someone and you are speaking your english hi i just want to i just want to get this Hi, do you have this? You're talking to yourself. Calm down. Calm down. Like, for example, now you are saying that um, I want to, can I, can, I, can I get this from you? How much is it going to cost? The normal standardized English here in Qatar, you will not hear it anywhere. That's why I'm bringing it to teach you guys. You say, me buy this. I'm never speaking this real English, the real standardized English, okay? Me buy this. How much me pay? Our English here is very, very funny. So you just have to like calm down to understand what we are saying. Even my English now is, is really bad. Where I am supposed to use I, I use me because anything we say here, we use me, me, me. Me do this, me do that, me did, me call you things, you no call me, go me. This, that is kind of English that we speak here. So just bear with us, okay? While the next one is eating with hands. For the Westerners, it might look a kind of way because I know that they use spoon, fork, and knife to eat. In my country, in Nigeria, we make use of um, our hands just to eat like um, our soup and semolina. But our rice, we use spoon, we use the knife, we use our cutlery. But over here in Qatar, they are very, very comfortable using their hands. And do not feel bad about it. Do not feel disgusted about it. That is where you understand people's culture. When they are eating rice, they prefer to use their hands to eat it. Before, I felt some kind of way when they usually do that. But when I, when I have spoken to some set of people, then I understood that that is their culture. And culture is the way of their life. You just have to respect Anyhow, they are doing it. If you're not comfortable when they are eating, it's just better just for you to like walk out if you're not comfortable. Do not speak anything bad about what they are doing because that is their culture. So I'm just bringing it to you. If you see anyone eating with hands, if you're not comfortable, walk out. You don't need to tell them that why are they eating with their hands. That is how they are comfortable to eat. Even you see them in like in a very big restaurant, 
they are very comfortable eating with their hands. Even me now, self, I'm comfortable eating with my hands. Maybe I went out, I'll just clean my hands nicely and I'll use to take my chicken. I don't even have time for this cutlery, this fork and knife kind of thing. It's stressful. So we are very comfortable eating with our hands here at Tata. While the next one that usually gets me paranoid is Belgium. You just see someone by your side, and you're like, oh. bro, what are you doing? So, as in the way they belch, like, is there anything scientifically like attaching to that belching? Because it can really get frustrating. Up to today, those things get me pissed. Belching in public, and when they belch, they, they believe that it is normal. They believe that if I belch outside, I, I feel so ashamed. I'm like, sorry, sorry, I'll quickly apologize. But then you can be having a conversation with them. You guys are talking, and next thing you, uh, and they'll continue the conversation with you. With no act as if nothing happened, bro. See, something happened. You need to apologize. But that is just their way of life. You might not understand when you come, but you know that's this very thick Belgian guys. It can really get annoying. While the next one is greeting, have you ever noticed if you are in Qatar currently, if you greet someone good morning, they might not even answer you. They will just pass and go. But if you greet them assalamu alaikum, they would answer you. And that you won't really blame them because this country is not, it's not an English-speaking country. Some of them, they don't even understand what good morning is. They don't, they don't even understand what you're saying. Before, I used to get pissed. Like, if I say good morning to them and they don't answer, I'll say, I'm, I'm saying hi and you're not even answering. I'm not even greet you again. But when I understood that, they don't really understand what good morning is. In the afternoon, assalamu alaikum. In the morning, assalamu alaikum. In the night, assalamu alaikum. So that is their way of greeting. At times, I even forget and I'm still saying good morning. Later, when I come back to my senses, I'll say assalamu alaikum. When I'm done saying assalamu alaikum, I'm still going to tell you good morning again. I don't know. I'm still trying to like learn this thing. So the greeting here is assalamu alaikum. So that good morning, good afternoon, good evening, they don't really understand what you're saying. While the next one is spitting. As of 2018, when I came, it was worst. You also saw that person is walking. I can't, I can't, I can't. They're not pregnant. Men spitting up and down. But I love what Qatar did. Qatar brought in fine. As Qatar put in the fine, the next thing, the speed sees. <laughs> No one is ready to pay such ridiculous amount of money for fine. So, spitting gear in Qatar, it can really get irritating, but at least it's reduced on like before. While the next one is hugging opposite sex. You might be hugging maybe your opposite sex, maybe your friend outside, and you might see someone looking at you weirdly like, why are you doing that? because this thing is prohibited and you as a foreigner you might not really understand why people don't hug themselves you might you might find it kind of kind of strange but just get used to it okay if you hug someone outside an opposite sex it will just look at you so much even husband and wife say for most husband and wife really really hugging outside <laughs> So try to understand okay while the next one is our windows they are closed 24 7 365 days in the year our windows are usually closed as for me i have never ever 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 since my years in qatar i have never opened my window at times i even forget that there's even window in the house the windows in qatar yeah they're just for fancy because if you open your window one minute everywhere bursts dust will finish <laughs> So we find it very, very hard to open our windows. If you want, like, um, fresh air, come outside and take the fresh air. When you're done taking the fresh air, go back inside your house. Windows, we don't open it. While the next one is free trolleys and free plastic bags in the malls. We don't pay. We don't freaking pay. You know, at times, if these people, they are putting my things in plastic bags, they can give you like 10 plastic bags. It's better to tell them that, no, I just need two. This thing that you are giving me can, as well, it can contain just two bags. Why put wasting bags? We don't pay for it. It is free. Even trolleys, some people will push trolley from, their, from the mall to their house. It's those mall guys that will come and start searching for their trolleys to take back. 
We don't pay for it. It is totally free. I remember when someone came during the World Cup and said, oh, you guys are not paying for trolleys. It is free. I said, yo, it is totally free. Yeah, we don't pay for any freaking thing. Yeah. <laughs> Why the next one is tipping? Tipping here in Qatar is not a must. It is not a must. I have paid for my food. It is not a must. I tip you. It's when I enjoy your service. I really enjoy your service. I can say, okay, take this for the good service okay but since i have paid why why would i tip you but I've, according to what i heard in america like they will stand on your neck that tip us <laughs> you dare not try it what does would they, they they will just tell you that please can you just rate us on the app that we did well we served you well and everything but tipping mm -mm, is not in most and I'm, I'm i'm really enjoying when i go to the restaurant man i'll just pay for my food and the next thing i am out of there why the last one i'm going to be talking about is the body language you know there's a kind of body language that you have to you have to be very cautious you have to like look at them when they are talking to you okay and understand their body language there are some body languages that might, you might feel offended when they do it but just trust they are not like doing it like angrily they are, that is just their body language. Like this one, like this. If they do you like this, it means that you should just wait, be patient. That's the meaning of that body language. But I heard that in the Philippines, it is not so. If you do like this to them, it means insult. But over here in Qatar, if, if they do like this, that means have patience. Wait, try, 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 try. Or if you are talking too fast to them, they can do you like this. That means you need to like slow down. Why the other one if they do like this? The person is already angry. <laughs> oh my god. New co a country you just keep on learning. If they do like that means they are angry. Anything can explode at that time. Why you see like if you want to greet like an opposite sex, instead of you to hug the person, you can do like this. Just like hands on your chest and bow. It's just a form of you greeting that person or true handshakes and maybe um someone give you like a pat on the head you just like a sign of well done you did so well and everything so you see like kiss on the forehead like mostly you see the young people they kiss the forehead of the, um, of an elderly person that is a form of respect and you see these elderly people they peck the cheeks of the of the young ones like i feel so happy when they are doing that like i'll just stay far off and i'll just watch and i'll smile I'll say oh my god <laughs> it's it's just good for you to just do all these things so these are the things you might not understand as a foreigner here in qatar i just thought to share it with you if there are other ones i did not mention kindly put it in the comment section let us laugh together let us learn together but i'm very sure that this video has actually touched someone to understand better how to copy here in qatar okay and yeah if you find this video helpful kindly give this video a thumbs up and share with whoever cares to listen share with family and friends and kindly support this channel by watching my adverts please i need you all to watch my adverts that is a way for you all to support this channel to grow that is a way for me to like make extra coins okay from what i am doing from what i love doing for you all okay if you are new to this channel please do well to subscribe to this channel and come join this wonderful this lovely family and to all my returning subscribers you guys are the real g thank you all for always coming back to cheer me up see you all in the next one but always remember to love yourself bye